Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day two of Team Cup. For those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Jennifer Nisa, and I am one of the Diamond Coaches that is leading you all this month on our Wellness Warriors hashtag basic training Team Cup month. Whether or not you're here for a Team Cup or you're here to relaunch or reignite the flame for your business, we're super excited to share this month with all of you. Yesterday was day one, and I posted the very first topic that we're going to begin talking about, which is our power pockets. And I am very excited, and this is why we decided to share this, you guys, because there are many different ways to run this business. And the thing that unites a lot of us here in our Wellness Warriors page is that we are busy working moms trying to get things done, right? Well, that being said, um, the traditional method of a power hour, um, and we've even heard about, you know, stealing pockets of time in the past. For, for me, and I know for some of the other leaders here, that system just sort of set me up for feeling defeated and not accomplished because I don't always have an hour to sit down and hash out a power hour. And instead, what was important for me to be able to know is what do I have to do every day? Like, let's break this down into simple steps. And what is it that I need to know every day? What is it that I need to check off my list so that when I have a few minutes, literally five to 10, if I know what I need to do, I can be productive with my moments of time throughout my day. And as busy working parents, it is often in the car or on the go or not sitting in front of a computer. And so um, I've been working on these power pockets for the last probably two months and, and attempting to use them. So they're not perfect, um, but to the best of what I'm practicing right now, this is has been extremely helpful for helping me be productive in my power pockets. I'm sensitive to time, so I don't want to make this a long video, but I want to show you a few things about the logistics of how they can work um, and explain one of the pieces, which you may not know how to do, which is how to use a Facebook friends list. So I'm going to share my screen with all of you. And I'm going to start with the social, social power packets. This is where, um, and I'm going to start with social power packets because this was kind of, this was something I learned at um, Super Saturday this past um, November, January. Um, this was kind of cool because a lot of us get caught up in um, like fear of inviting. But if you've taken time to develop relationships, then it, you're less afraid because you've built up a relationship with the people that you're talking to. And the best way to do that is through something we call forming, which we'll talk more about this month, but it's really just being social on social media. And this um, was presented by um, one of the coaches in Toledo and I personalized it a little bit, but this has been pretty cool because it actually allows you to be on social media with a purpose without scrolling. It allows you to see your, the people that you want to see, um, including your coaches and truly being present and building relationships. And that can happen right on Facebook. When we build relationships in the comment section and a messenger on Facebook, you're more likely to have your stuff seen by Facebook. So if you're following along, you can pull up the power pockets that I um, saved in the or put in the file section and have those out in front of you. We'll start with social power packets. I'll share my screen when I get into the um, some of the later information. So the very first thing that you need to do is you can go back to your post from the day before and you can let a like, you can comment, you can message anybody that commented on your post from the day before. That's important and helpful because when you comment on a post from the day before, it actually brings it back up in the newsfeed and lets more people see it again. So it's a way to use your kind of momentum um, and have your posts show up in the newsfeed again. The other thing is when you post in a comment, it's important to be intentional and to think about having conversations in the comment section. So if somebody made a comment on one of your posts, your intention when you message them back in the comment section should be to encourage them to write back. And if you can do that, if you can get them to comment back, then Facebook really identifies that you guys are friends. And again, they're more likely to see your things. 
So in the first few moments of your power pockets, you may go back to yesterday's post and like and comment on some of the people that you maybe missed from the day before or come up with something funny using um, GIFs is helpful. I think that's how you say it, GIFs. <laughs> we always have this conversation amongst us, but um, using things like those GIFs in the comments is helpful to be funny and to have fun and to just lighten it up and it, that, that also will increase your reach. Um, if you've been talking with people that are commenting on your things and you, and you have a few conversations with them, at some point, it would be appropriate or the right time to take that conversation, maybe as you're about ready to, you know, if they've given you an open door to talk about coaching or what you do, you could take that to a messenger chat and talk to them a little bit more privately. That is something that you can do in the next 10 minutes. So you're really the first, you know, two are kind of about connecting and building the relationships and forming in those first two and hopefully taking the invite to a messenger chat. The third 10 minutes I said in that social power pocket was being active in your groups, being active in or searching for groups that are people like you. So when you first start your business, you are, you're looking for, you have a lot of people already in your warm market who you can talk to about this, but as longer you've been a coach, you can use either Facebook groups to find new friends you can look for friends of friends, and you can also use hashtags on Instagram, but you should be looking for a few new people to add each day, if possible, um, to your list. So searching for new people and adding um, people maybe, or just being active in a Facebook group and, and without intention to um, invite them just being like, if you're a mom of twins being in that group and spending a few minutes you know, being social in that group okay so let's let me share my screen so what I'll go over here is um, for those of you that maybe have not done this before if you go into the groups tab you can literally in the section up here let's say you are um, I just actually did this one today. So mom of greater Cleveland, you pull up something that may be related to your personal interest or avatar, and you can look at, at different groups and request to join them with the intention of being active and maybe meeting new people. So that's how you can use social media to be social. Um, so you can spend 10 minutes being in there. Um, the other thing that you can do is when you are looking for new people, you can go to... Um, your friends where let's see so you can go to your friends and let's say you have someone that you've been really interested having interesting conversations with let's say i've been chatting with chelsea a ton i can go into her friends list and i can look through first of all you can see we have several mutual friends in common but then i can scroll down a little bit and look and see does she have anybody on her friends list um, that might be just the kind of person that um, I would be looking for. And um, this was kind of an interesting tip that I, that she, I learned at um, that Super Saturday event. Let's say I think I might get along with this Michelle. Instead of first sending her a friend request, I can go into her page and I can like on five of her posts. She called it the 531 principle. I can like on five of her posts. I can comment on three and I can send her a message on one. And it may be something as simple as, oh my gosh, Michelle, I saw that thing you shared about frozen milk pups. That looks pretty awesome. Um, I know we haven't met yet, but could I send you a friend request? You know, and so you can kind of start, a, so you, you, you're social with her first. She'll see somebody's watching and then you send her a message. She'll see that in Messenger now without necessarily being friends. And then, then you ask if you can send her a friend request. And to me, that was a nice way, and I've actually been practicing that a bit. Um, that's a nice way to kind of request a friend without seeming so strange. Like, especially on Facebook, people are a lot more like, who is this person? Don't you guys feel that way? When you get a friend request, you're like, how do I know this person? On Instagram, it's a little different with the hashtags, but that 531 principle is pretty cool. So that is another way that you can look to add your people. Okay, the other, the other thing I wanted to go over is the friends, use of the friends list. And there's two things that I want to talk about here. This is highly valuable information for helping keep you organized and not scrolling, being intentional with your time on Facebook. 
So over here to the left, you see friends lists. You can create a list right from here. And there's two that I'm gonna encourage you to create. The first one, you should call customer prospects or your hot list. You could do it by month if you'd like. You see, I've tried it a couple different ways. Future Fit Fam, August, October, November. Now I'm calling it my 1010 rule because that's what Bob Hiley calls it. And this is a place that you can use to watch the people you intentionally want to watch and to warm up the, the Facebook algorithm before you post on social media, which is something that you should be doing each and every day. There are two ways to add people to your friends list. So first of all, if you don't have one, you need to create one. It is so very simple. Just click create, and then you have a chance to add the people that you want to add. These people don't know they're on your list. <laughs> so that is very cool. In my 1010 rule, I have, I have the most active people that I have, I'm interested in talking to right now or having conversations with right now. So I try to keep this up, up to date as much as possible. So the way that I would use this, the best, now this is good to love on these people at any time. So you don't have to do this right before you post, but the most um, beneficial way to get your current Facebook posts seen by your friends is to warm up the algorithm by being active and social on social media 10 minutes before you post. So if you can, then you could go into your friends list first here and you can like or love on your people's things. So Denise has lots of recipes. And again, liking and loving is good, but conversations would be better. So if you can add a few comments, then I would recommend doing that and kind of having the conversations here also. And the and the other way that you can do that, let's say that you're, so this is, this is your, this is your hot list or your friends list. The other way you can add people to your friends list is by actually doing it directly from their news feed. So let's say I am on a page for Craig. If I'm on his page, I found him. I think I might like him. I think I might want to follow him from his personal profile right here. I can. Dun, dun, dun. I thought it was right there. Oh, wait. Here it is. So under the friends tab, I can add him to another list. And I can put him in my 1010 rule. So if I've, you got to have the list created, but you can also add friends to your friends list right from here. Okay. So there's that. The other friends list that I would encourage you all to have, and this is something um, I would like all of us coaches to do um, is to create a friends list of your team of coaches. This is extremely helpful um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, um, as a leader, it's going to be important for you to see what your coaches are posting so that you can have the conversations and teach them the appropriate way that we as leaders and in Team Beachbody prefer to show up on social media. The other thing that is very helpful is by, by actually commenting on your coach's posts, it helps their reach. So not only will we see each other's information, but by commenting on each other's things, it will help each other's reach. And that is, it's like teamwork for, for your coaches. And so I have added this to my um, Power Pocket and I do try to go in um, several times a week. It has helping me see a little bit more of what you guys are doing. So again, always room for improvement. But the goal would be to spend some time doing these social power pockets, but then eventually you have to go back to your list, whether it's in streak or on paper, and jot the names down of the people that you've added that you're commenting. So add, connect, um, follow up, and invite. You need to track those conversations so that you can um, know where you're at um, in terms of the forming process. If we go quickly to personal power pockets, I'll just go through that. Um, I showed you how you could use your list, um, your friends list, to be active before you post on social media. Please post on social media at least once a day. We have more to come on sharing um, information on that. Um, but you can see what you wanna do here is um, 
make sure you track your follow-up messages. Those should happen first. Anybody that you've invited and you need to follow up with, those should happen first before you go into um, anything else. You're going to want to check your, your coach office. You're going to want to respond to leads and send welcome emails and all of that. Um, scheduling your challenge group posts, that's something that you can do often not it's going to take longer than 10 minutes, but um, at least you, if you have everything organized in the, in the right place, uh, maybe a Google Doc, um, then when it's time for you to sit down and schedule them, you have them in one place. You need some time to check in on your customers and, and be active in your challenge groups. And you, I don't do this one very well, um, but if you can be organized and plan your social media posts for the week, it's very helpful. Um, and again, being organized. Sometimes I'm able to block out more than these 10 minutes during a week, but not always. Um, and so just, you know, kind of having this in front of me helps me to know um, what I need to do to stay on track. As you build your team, you're going to have to learn some of the team building um, organizational daily habits, which would include posting on your team pages, being active in them, checking your sponsorship drill down. Um, everybody should be listening to the National Wake Up Calls and the Beachbody Champions page, checking your coach breaking news. Um, and then as you're going on and building your team and, and having phone calls with them, and those are all things that you need to, um, to set up. So again, this isn't a perfect system. I hope that this um, wasn't too long and that you found it valuable. So if you have questions about any of this, um, please comment below, but your homework assignment really is to try to use this this weekend. Keep it in front of you, you know, take it with you as you go and see if you find it helpful. Um, and if you have feedback on how it could improve, please feel free to let us know that too. Thank you guys so much for joining us and let's make February a great month.